It seems you're perfectly capable of taking care of yourself. So much so that you even look after that little companion of yours. I don't have any suggestions to offer you. And frankly, you probably don't need my help. I'll occasionally go to the tavern for a drink after work. That's not what you needed to know about? Huh. I was under the impression that sharing what you do in your free time is more personal than telling someone your thoughts or opinions. After all, you can get those from anybody on the message board. I've never left Sumeru City, but I want to go on adventures with you. Going to new places will be fine as long as I can adjust. Um, quick question. Inazuma's beaches won't have huge wena that'll suddenly jump out at us, right? The Grand Bazaar occasionally hosts other kinds of performances, such as juggling showcases. I've tried juggling before, but I always end up catching the balls with my head. Mr. Zubair and everyone else just laughed at me. They probably thought I had really good hand-eye coordination. <laughs> I've been exposed. Someone once told me that I was like a shining oasis that restored life and happiness to others with its warmth. That was nice of them to say, and I was happy to hear it, but... What I want to show people is much more than that. After spending so much time with you, though... I finally understand how it feels to have someone care for and look after you. Now? Now I feel like that comparison is a far better one for you. I really like being with you. I don't know why, but it feels like a butterfly is trying to burst out of my chest. Anyway, how about I show a new dance to you?
I want my students to truly enjoy the study of ancient texts. If I can't find anyone like that, then I just won't take on any students. Oh, right. About finding someone to help me with my work. Well, it's pretty reasonable for students to help their mentors when they have some free time, right? Oh, I mean, even I did that back in the day. When I was trapped, I spent so long solving puzzles that I became numb to even the flow of time. Now that I'm free again, I no longer have to face the puzzles of the world all on my own. Maybe we'll be able to spend some fun times together copying inscriptions, deciphering runes, and solving puzzles. Oh, every minute should be savored. <laughs> my illustrious resume aside, my intellectual capabilities have been acknowledged even by the Animo Archon himself. As for why I still can't find any students, well, it's not due to any fault on my part or that of my Darshan. Maybe it's a matter of timing. I also received my vision at precisely an opportune moment after all. Knowledge is naturally something that cannot be limited or restrained. It's like how Kasharawar can utilize Haravatat's research findings. All scholars will be grateful to Lesser Lord Kusanali for releasing the Academia. No, the entire City of Wisdom from the shackles of selfish desires. <sighs> All who thirst for knowledge are now afforded the opportunity to search for treasures in the vast sea of knowledge. One of my favorite projects is researching rainforest ruins. Oh, right. I should ask Tainari to come with me next time. It's always fun to travel with a living copy of the Rainforest Survival Guide. I must say, even though I've been around for more than a hundred years, He's seen far more varieties of fungi than I've had the chance to taste. Ah, Kale. She's respectful toward her elders, diligent, and has a hard-working attitude. Truly the perfect student. Children like her deserve all the affection and praise. Tainari really has no reason to be as strict as he has been. Hmm. I need to find a way to win her over. Ahem. <clears throat> what I meant to say was... As a senior scholar, I should find ways to improve the learning environment of younger students. Sino's jokes are composed using modern words and language patterns, but I still struggle to decipher any hidden meaning from his grammar and prose. Huh? It's all just literal meanings and homophones? Really? Then those jokes don't have any substance at all. Sometimes she'll lower her head and keep her distance when she sees me. However, she's all smiles and greetings at night. I don't quite get her. Anyway, most kids in Ritawis are geniuses. A quirk or two isn't anything to concern myself with. Kaveh's a good kid with great potential. I had a casual chat with him once about some principles of mechanism construction. Hmm, how should I put it? He's too much of an artsy romantic, but at least he has some original ideas, which is rare nowadays. I've heard that he's fallen on some hard times, so I'm planning to invite him out for a good meal once my funding gets approved. It'll happen soon, promise. Oh, I remember her. She's a courteous girl. I've only been to the Grand Bazaar a few times, but she's already remembered my name and face. And she's even tried to get the others to stop arguing with me. She really gets it. All youngsters should be more like her. If I didn't accidentally lose myself in that King Deshret ruin, I could have contributed even more to Sumeru. Thankfully, my manuscripts and treatises were still put to good use. Those freeloading Kasharawar used them to establish the fundamentals of the study of mechanisms. <laughs> I'm not called Madame Farozan for nothing, you know. As a scholar, I should have the courage to accept failure and shoulder all of its consequences. I never wanted anyone to pity me, whether it be back then or right now. Also, don't forget that I eventually managed to solve that final puzzle by my own power and freed myself from that accursed place. Instead of pity, shouldn't people feel encouragement and inspiration from my story? My field of study is nowhere as esteemed as it used to be, and Haravatat has refused me funding more than once. Every now and then, Kasharawar will try to invite me to teach under their banner, and the conditions they've offered me are truly out of this world. More students? A higher spending limit? I still turn them down, however. No matter what, someone has to keep studying niche topics so we can expand the frontiers of humanity's knowledge.
delivered several orders to me when I was stocking up on goods from outside of Sumeru. Her service is great, and her prices are low. Oh, I think she's into pretty accessories. And I happen to have some handmade Sumeru specialties on sale. I want to buy some as a gift for her. I can give you a discount. Shazam! Whether you are in the Arataki gang or not, I'll never treat you as an outsider. Just go ahead and leave the logistics and planning to me. Trust me, I am an expert. I can handle anything, no matter how complicated it might seem. Uh-huh. You're concerned about my safety? <laughs> Don't worry. All these years of experience aren't just for show. <laughs> <laughs> 